But there's something called cysterine or something there. And I started to read about cysterine and it said, um, like caverns and tunnels and water. <laughs> Oh no! Stream <laughs> deep below green lawn lies a secret sprawling underground underground world. <laughs> oh my goodness! The darkness, coldness, and dampness envelops you as you venture into a huge four thousand old water reservoir, reminiscent of long forgotten cathedrals and gloomy catacombs. <laughs> What? There's a catacomb? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to reconsider going um, an hour out of town to see yet another castle. I think I'll have my castle fill. I think I'll go to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I reached it. I went to the garden area. It says it's in the garden area and it's a big old palace garden. So I asked three or four Dutch people. We have no idea where that is. Oh no. But we've wanted to go our whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea. They said, according to the map, it's right here in the garden. <laughs> we don't know if we're going to the zoo. What? Zoo? Yeah, there's a zoo right there. <laughs> that would be a huge Copenhagen zoo across the street. <laughs> Whatever. I asked another person, another person. They all want to go, but they all don't know where it is. And I said, according to this, I think it's that glass structure down there. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> So I walked to the glass structure is about a quarter of a mile away because the park is a kingly park. It's oh, big. Oh, okay. Not a quarter mile less. But anyway, I got there and it said Sistine. Oh. It's the correct place. Opens at 11. Look at my clock. It's 10. Oh, no. No. Did you give up finding the systems? Um, it opens at 11. Okay. It's, it is that glass building. Okay. And it opens at 11. Yeah, okay. So I'm going back at 11. Okay. <laughs> Well, I found my way, and at 11, finally 11, okay, I'm going out. I go to the Sistine. I'm thinking catacombs, I'm thinking museums. Yeah. I knew it's totally not what I expected. Oh, no. <laughs> but it was very interesting. It's a modern art exhibition. Oh, God, you don't like modern art. I don't, but what they did was nothing. They darkened the whole underground to nothing. It's like tunnels and reservoir, oh. tunnels and all that. And there's nothing there, and there's a light here, light there, and then large parts with no light. So what you do when you go down, first of all, they say you have to put on galoshes. So they provide boots. <laughs> oh <laughs> my there's God. several inches of water you have to go through. And oh. you have to put on these big boots. Oh my God. And everything's dark, and you can hardly see in your. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then. And then there's a blue light there. Okay, I'm going through tunnels and tunnels. Uh. And the blue light is big neon lights, it says. Wait for it. Okay, okay. This is not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god, you go on the light, you go and go, and then, oh, there's another light over there. Squish, 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 slowly. Oh <laughs> and, you can, and you're completely dark, and there's like dark figures squishing too. Oh, of people scheming. <laughs> oh away. my gosh. So, this thing's you see. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god.
gosh. And at one part, there's an old bathroom, because this used to be a reservoir, I guess, and it's like submerged in water, and it's like the urinals are up to here, and the sinks oh. are up to there, so you're peeking in, and there's dim lights. Oh. Like, oh, this is sort of weird, but neat. Wow. Wow. So anyway, I squished around for half an hour and there's only so much to see there. 